try. Okay. <laughs> Welcome today to Herding Little Cows and our series on hospitality. Today I'm going to tell you about a dear friend that lives in Georgia. Her name's Pamela Scarborough and her husband Gerald and their kids. Um, they are just such an example of hospitality to me. Um, I don't know if it's because they're from down south or just Miss Pamela is the sweetest, kindest person ever, but she has taught me a lot. Um, when we first went down to see them, she had her home open to a huge group of people. Um, never complained about having people over. Um, always was just, what can I get you? Do you need anything? How can I help? And always just keeping herself busy, um, you know, making sure that people had food, making sure people had coffee, um, letting me use her washing machine to do the laundry. Um, but she many, many times hosted, um, they had a home church and hosted um, the meal. Everyone was able to bring something to add to the meal, but it always took place in her kitchen and the cleanup, you know, whatever was left was always left to her and she always did it without complaining. There are a few unique circumstances. Well, there's a lot of unique circumstances to share about Pamela, but I'll share a couple of them. Um, one time as we were traveling down there, we were going to have our camper parked a few miles from their house at a campground. I was sick really sick on the way down, like throwing up sick um, the whole way down. As so we told her, you know, we'll be there, but we're not going to stop by tonight because I'm just too sick and can't do this. And it was pouring rain. So it took a lot longer to get there than we were planning. And she wanted us to tell her when we were close. So we let her know, I don't know, a half hour out or whatever. And after we got there in the camper, Pamela showed up with dinner, which included dessert and paper plates and plastic cups and just everything so that I didn't have to worry about feeding my family that night. Um, and I was able to just rest after the long day traveling. And it was just such a blessing to us to be able to um, just settle down for the night and me not have to worry about that. Because if you're living in a camper, it's hard to get the whole thing leveled and set and electricity on. There's a lot of work there that Mark always did while I was trying to prepare stuff. So it was just, it was amazing. And we also lived down there for a little while where we um, actually rented a house just a mile or two down the road from them. Um, so we spent a lot of time together while we were there. But we were headed from, we had gone there to find a house. We left our stuff in their garage, in Gerald and Pamela's garage, because we couldn't move into the house until we got back from our trip back to Maine. And Gerald and Pamela um, followed, like came with us. We carpooled with another young couple um, all the way down to Savannah, Georgia, so we could get the train back to Maine, and then they drove our car back. Um, and it was just such an amazing time of fellowship on the road. We got to explore the town of Savannah, which we had never been to before. Um, and they just went out of their way so that we could spend time together. It was um, really quite an experience. Um, and also, Pamela was just such an encouragement, and she always pointed me to the scriptures. Um, no matter what problem was going on, she would remind me of what the scriptures said to um, be kind to others and to not talk badly. And just she was such an uh, example of that for me. Um, also, the last thing I'm going to say about her is she was very quick to invite people over for a meal. One time we were pulling into their driveway and Mark um, turned the wrong direction or some, something broke. I don't remember what happened, but our camper was kind of stuck partway in the road. Um, luckily, they lived on a smaller dirt road, but a neighbor um, young man had heard what was going on and he came over to help. And by the time they had gotten the camper in, Pamela had invited him to stay for a meal. And that relationship then continued. She was able to minister to the rest of the family um, through that experience of meeting him. But you never had to wonder if Pamela wanted someone to stay for a meal. Usually by the time you even mentioned something, she had already added more rice to the soup or she had already put on another side dish. She was just on top of that. She always had something ready for people. So Pamela, you are such a blessing to me. And I hope that this video encourages you in everything that you do every day. Um, if you've liked this video, I hope that it will point you to um, glorifying God in the ways that you can serve as an example to those around you. Um, please like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel.